ones. It's toast and cereal for breakfast today. You don't want breakfast? I'm not hungry. Nat, you're back. Yeah, I just came back to get changed. You want some toast and coffee, sweetheart? No, oh, thanks. I had a huge breakfast at the hotel. You enjoyed yourself then? I heard what happened. Yeah, yeah, we had a great time, actually, Pat and I. Made a nice change, just the girls. Anyway, it was time I was at work. Nat, wait. I need to talk to you. What did you bring all that junk down here for? She doesn't want it cluttering up the place. Well, the way things are at the moment, I thought Dad might have chucked it. Well, maybe he's got a point. Nat. Nat, I want to try and make up for yesterday. It's Pat you should be apologising to. She shouldn't have interfered. Forget about Pat. We'll go out tonight. It's me and you. Barry, you've got no money. You haven't even got a job anymore. Look, what you did yesterday, you... Well, you really upset me. Nat. Nat! Wow. I think all that noise been on one of my migraines. He's got food poison as well. Don't you think you ought to be at work, Delia? Eh? I think you're skiving. No, work now I'm going to be late because I phoned and left a message last night. Oh. How is ever so good of you, Robbie, you know, to give up your bed to me like that? Because I could have easier stayed at Pauline. Well, they've got a spare room. Oh, it's just that, you know, the, the sofa's got all lumps in the wrong places. Yeah. Oh, you're better off here. Remember what them coppers said? About them fevered herbs, might come back and have another go. Oh, what are you going to say that for? Don't you ever go up, mate? Just because your boyfriend stood you up last night. What I meant was that Pauline ought to watch out, you know, living next door, like. Yeah, we'll take no notice of him, Doc. Oh, no, I'm all right now, you know. It was just a shock. Yeah. That was all. Of course it was, yeah. Having them hooligans poking about in your drawers. Don't bear thinking of, does it? More tea? Yeah, it's just through there, mate. Just next to the bar. That's my job. Well, it might have been if you turned up on time. I bet Phil sleeps happy in his hospital bed knowing you're out here keeping an eye on everything. You know, some people need watching. Phil is going to be out of action for a long time, Jamie. Things can change. Yeah, well, I think it's diabolical picking on an old lady like that. After everything that's happened with her, Nick. Yeah, well, perfect target, woman on her own. Maybe I should stay around yours for a few days. You know, Charlie's getting on a bit now. Make you girls feel a bit more secure. You're in the house, you've got to be kidding. Will you stop playing with your food? You either eat it or you don't. Joe, what's the matter? What would you call me like, Dad? I told you before you won't have to go. Why? Well, you wouldn't like it because it's full of boring old grown ups talking. There are things me and your mum have got to discuss, and of course, the only place we can do that. Come on, it's time I go back to school. Joe. Boy, that job you promised to finish is all over the arches. Thought you said I could rely on you. You can rely on me, Jamie. I'll be there in a minute, all right? The place is in the right tip and I want it cleared up. It's a system, all right? I know exactly where everything is. Well, if it's all running so smoothly, why did I have a punter on the phone last night moaning because his motor ain't ready? What is it? Will you give me a break, huh? I'm on my own over there in case you hadn't noticed. You better make that a takeaway. So come on then. What happened to you last night? I thought it best to let the dust settle. Peggy caught us using her home like a cheap hotel. Yeah, but a bit of danger makes it more exciting, don't you reckon? I'm the community doctor. I have my position to consider. We'll talk about positions later. I'll meet you in the big lunchtime. I, I don't know if that's such a good idea. You'll be there. Gary's doing his best, you know. He's working single-handed over there. I know. I'll give him a hand soon. Busy at the moment. Yeah, I do realise that. I mean, perhaps you shouldn't have taken it all on. This place, the arches, the snooker Look, all... Phil put me in charge and I'm dealing with it. Are you? Well, in that case, how about getting some proper help from me in here? Well, if you dropped the attitude and got on with some work, you might get something done. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my attitude. I'm not the one swanning around, pretending to be boss, and then blaming everyone else for my problems. What's the matter? Oh, power does strange things to some people, even when they can't act the job. I suppose you have some clearing up to do. OK. 
kitchen was a bit of a wreck when we left. No, I'll leave that till later. It's the least of my worries. Of course, you're still trying to get over the flu, aren't you? Yeah, don't get too close. It might be contagious. Terry will be home soon, then. Terry will be home when I tell him and not before. I want to get onto the Guinness Book of Records for the shortest sacking ever. Look, Anthony, might be shown on the outside, but get him in the bedroom. Oh, I don't want to know. No, no, no. He might be treating me one day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know where to look. <laughs> oh. This is still my place, and I don't like it being used as a knocking shot. Mrs Mitchell, I can it only... It doesn't have... say much for our new doctor, does it? Chasing after the first available bit of skirt that flashes her teeth. Um, no, I, I'm and sorry. Cat Slater! You're scraping the bow there, aren't you? Oh, I must be mad to let her have the run of my path. Cat really isn't to blame in all Don't this. Don't waste your breath trying to defend her sort. Women like that are only after what they can get. You've got it all wrong. Oh, yeah. It's always different for you men, isn't it? Don't try and answer that. I just don't want it going on underneath my roof. Of course not. You're a nice, intelligent man. You're a doctor, for goodness sake. Don't ruin your life by getting mixed up with the likes of her. You've worked too hard. Yes, I have. No, I was thinking as one local businessman to another. How about a bit of discount? Well, it's like you say, Ian, this is a business, not a charity. Yeah, no, it's it's not a charity, though, is it, Roy? I mean, it's old pals doing each other a favour, isn't it? Look, how about a free bag of chips with every portion of codge Hello, love. Roy. Roy. Can you do an airport run for me this afternoon? About 3.30? No, that's when I pick up Joe from school. What do you think you're doing talking to Laura like that last night? But I need you, Pepe. We're flat out here. Everybody else is booked up. Yeah, hold on, Roy. She was trying to pass messages from Sandra to Joe. One message, but she didn't pass off. Ian, now do you mind? I'm trying to run a business here. It's a very important client. All right, well, where am I going to get someone to collect Joe's such short notice, huh? Well, maybe you could ask Laura nicely. I don't think so, Ian. She hasn't done anything wrong. I'll be the judge of that, right? <sighs> Let me arrange something I'll get back to you later. Do you mind? Nothing is off Ladysmith Walk. Roger that? Oh, yeah, some people. Yo, thanks for nothing. They are found something out about Phil. They haven't got a clue. They're useless. Don't let it get to you. No, somebody's got to do something. Anyway, it's got nothing to do with you, Lisa. You walked out. Yeah, on Phil. Me and you, we're, we're mates. I mean, if there's anything you need to talk about... Talk? Then... That's all anyone seems to do around here. No, I can't, really. Are you sure you can't? There's a five on it for you. Mark's got a meeting with one of our suppliers. I'm stuck here all afternoon. All right, thanks, anyway. Is he trying to nick my staff? He wanted me to pick up Joe from school for him. He's got a job on. Mm, it's never easy holding down a job and looking after a kid at the same time. You said the car would be ready yesterday. Yeah, well, we're a bit short-handed at the moment, so the earliest I'm going to be able to do it now is Thursday. What? Oh, look, I'm getting sick of this. Well, if you've got a complaint, I suggest you speak to the boss. You too, right? I'm going to speak to your boss. <laughs> and where'd you get him from? Local kindergarten. Look, hang on, then. What's the problem? Uh, this gentleman here has a complaint. Yeah, well, I'm in the middle of something. I don't care, Sonny. My car's still in pieces. Look, I'm going to have to call you back, all right? I'm really sorry, but we're a mechanic down at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the mouth in the corner tells me. But I'm getting sick of your excuses. Look, if that motor isn't sorted by Thursday, you're going to be another mechanic down. You get my drift? I'll be sorted for you. And tell Daddy, whoever's really in charge, that I'll expect a discount too. And he'd better make it a good one. Customer relations. One of the perks of being the boss, that is. She's had a very nasty experience. You tell Jim to take good care of her. We can manage things here until she gets better. Well, you've changed your tune. You just found another excuse to sky off, that's all. Jim is helping out a friend in need, something you wouldn't know a lot about. I told you I was sorry about yesterday. I had to put your boyfriend straight about a few things earlier. Anthony, what have you been saying to him? That all that glitters is not gold. Some of it turns out to be brass. Now go on, there's customers need serving. All right, lager, please, Peggy. Any news on Phil? Oh, for a minute there, I mistook you for somebody who really cared. Just wondered. Please want to interview me later. You want to know about Steve? I don't know. Just said they was interested in Phil's businesses. Why are they asking you? There's no point in asking Jamie, is there? I know he's meant to be running the show, but he's not coping very well without Phil to look after him. If Jamie's got a problem, he'll come and see me. I wouldn't bet on it. Don't you worry, though, Peg. If he slips up, 
I'll be there to catch him. All right. I've just been over the arches. Listen, I thought it might be nice if we had some lunch. Seeing as you stood me up last night. I phoned you, didn't I? And I was busy. It's not easy doing ten things at once. I mean, why did people have to get on my case about it the whole time? Well, where are you going now? Well, first I've got to get some parts for a motor, then I've got to see the supplier, then I've got to go to the cash and carry for the calf. Is that enough for you? And what about lunch? Jamie! Terry. Hello. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling better. Yeah, the flu's nearly gone now. I shouldn't be here, really. I don't like leaving on her own. Mm, poor old Doc. How horrible. Strangers all over your home like that. Well, you tell her if there's anything I can do. Yeah, well, I don't think it's sunk in, you know, what's happened properly to her yet. I suppose you want some more time off, don't you? Well, a day or two, yeah, look, till she's back on her feet. And I really will get that flat of her secured and all before she moves back in. Well, it looks like you're working tonight. I might have plans. Cancel them. Well, you can have a couple of days and that's it. As soon as Dot's better, I want you back here. The pair of you might be useless, but you're better than nothing. <laughs> What can I get you? Oh, um, nothing for me, thanks, Peggy. I just want a quick word with Beth, hey? I don't think we've got anything to say, have we? I know you've got no one to look after Joe this afternoon. I'd like to make up for yesterday. Yeah, well, no, it's not that easy. I told you I was never going to give Joe that letter. Sorry. Terry, you're breaking up. I can't... The phone's bleeping, the battery's low. I've got to go. See you Thursday. Bye. Why can't anything ever just be simple? Please, Beppe. I just want to prove to you that I can be trusted again. All right, give me one good reason why I should. Because I can't see anyone else offering. Sonia, I don't... If you're expecting Sonia, then I won't... I'm not. I ain't seen you two together much lately. In case you hadn't noticed, Phil's been shot. And he left me in charge of all the businesses. Now, I know it might not mean a lot to you, Lisa, but it's my responsibility and I have no time for anything else. Of course. Sorry. Jay, I'm worried what all this is doing to you. Really? Please stop treating me like this. I walked out for a reason, but it had nothing to do with you. Can we start again? Please. Hello? Hello, yeah, it's about your job advert in the uh, newspaper. Oh, sorry. Sorry? No, 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 not you, no. It's, uh, it's just that I, I think I am the man that you're looking for. Barry, do you want a paper you're watching now when you pick it up? No, I'll have to owe it to your doc, all right? Yeah, I'm in my car. That's what it is, and I'm afraid the traffic's very busy at the moment. Experience, uh, not as such, no, but uh, I'm uh, very quick to learn, I'm enthusiastic, and I'm motivated. Really? Well, couldn't you just give me a chance? You know, I'm, I'm willing to work for anything, you see. I, I, I need the money. I'll tell you what, mate, don't, don't worry about it, no. No, no, not that important anyway, really. OK, sure. Excuse me. Hang on, Barry. I know things are a bit tight at the moment, so you can help me. Hello, Pat. Barry gone, and I found some money in his washing. It ain't much, only 20p, but I thought he might want it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he left. Oh, well, I'll give it to him when he picks it up then. I, uh... Popped over the Jacksons. I, I didn't think you'd be in it today. No, well, I slipped out while Jim was at the Vic. I mean, he's been very kind, but he doesn't think I should be working. Well, that's not a point, Doc. Perhaps you should take a few days off. I mean, surely Pauline can keep an eye on things here. Well, she's already offered, but well, I'd rather be busy, you know, than sitting around the house thinking about the worst. It makes me glad I got Roy. A woman on her own. Who knows what they might do next? Well, I mean... It happens all the time, don't it? Why should I be any different? I mean, you've just got to get on with your life. You know, you can't live in fear. Yeah, well, uh, 
going to be getting back. You would like a cup of tea, would you? Because I've got the kettle on. Oh, thanks, love, but we'll be wondering where I am. We're flat out at the moment. But if you need anything, give us a call, eh? Since it happened, I haven't been able to get it out of my head. I mean, what if Dad succeeded or, or tried again? I mean, Phil hasn't even got a guard anymore. And you know, Phil might be dead. And apart from me and Peggy, who'd care about it? I was always the last person on his mind, Jamie. I couldn't live like that anymore. I really hoped you might understand. No, I think you better go. You know, I've got things to do, stuff to think about. Jamie, please. Look, I can handle it, all right? Phil's counting on me and I'm not going to let him down. He's expecting too much. Too much? Do you know what it's like walking through that square knowing that someone shot Phil? For all I know, I could be staring that person in the face every day and that's too much, even the thought of it. You don't know that's true. Phil knows a lot of dodgy people all over London. He was close to home than that. It was someone round here, someone he knew. Steve Owen hated him enough. And we all know what he's capable of. No! It was Steve's wedding day. He wouldn't, not with Mel around. Well, someone did it, Lisa. I mean, so everyone's got it in for Phil. What about Mark? Oh. They had a few run-ins. I mean, how much does Mark like you? You can't start believing it was Mark. That's ridiculous. Jay, you've got to let this go. I can't! Wherever I am, it's there. 24 hours a day, eating me up inside. And I want to know the truth. And when can I have the money? No, I know you don't like to lend to people under 18. Well, I've got a good job, a place to live. I've been paying rent for six months now. Quite honestly, my prospects are excellent. Did you miss lunch or did you get something to eat at the Vic earlier? Sometimes it's difficult to get away from the, the surgery. Oh, yeah. I understand. Well, then I'll open a bank account. No, my father can't guarantee the loan, but he's not around to ask. C credit references. No, I haven't got any debts. Pat told me what happened earlier with Peggy. She caught you coming down the stairs red-handed, didn't she? That was just a, st a stupid mistake. <laughs> you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I reckon you're a good influence on her, Cat. I doubt that. No, you are, definitely. She was always a use em up wear em out kind before. But since she's met you, she's different. A bit more settled. I reckon if you play your cards right, you could be related very soon. I'm sorry, I've got to get... <laughs> oh, no, have you forgotten your... What do you want? Your shout, is it Mr Burton? I'll have a cup of tea, please, Lynn. Coffee. Oh, and one of them cakes, and I'll I remember things better on a full stomach. Don't push your luck, Billy. Um, if anyone comes in, we do not wish to be disturbed. This is a very important interview. It's just a chat. We've done the formal statements. Now sit down and open that only when we ask you to, not before. I thought you banks were meant to be giving away money. What do you mean, bad risk? Oh. Well, if that's how you feel about it, madam, then stuff you. What? Excuse me. You all right, lady? I just need some change for the machines. Did I scare uh. you? Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, there you are, Dorothy. I was worried about you. What's going on? What you done? I never touched her. The Mitchell's in the wrong business. He ought to be in partnership with Florence Nightingale, the way you tell it. Well, when it comes to who shot him, the smart money is on Mark Fowler, because he's just shacked up with Phil's missus. Mind you, that Ian Bill's a good outside bet and all. I think we've had quite enough out of you, thanks. Right, well, if you uh, need any more assistance, you know where you can find me? Yeah, under the nearest stone. Mr Burke, it can be so hurtful sometimes. I've been looking for you. You're supposed to be over the snooker. Yeah, and well, I've been helping the police with their inquiries. What are they asking you for? Well, if you want to know about organ grinding, you don't talk to the monkey, do you? Look, what are you talking to him for? I know Phil better than anyone. We're just trying to clarify some of Phil Mitchell's business dealings. Yeah, well then talk to me, not Billy. But anyway, you're on the wrong track. I had nothing to do with business. Really? You have some information we don't? No. It stands to reason, right? With someone from round here, it had to be. We're well aware Phil Mitchell had enemies, son. Then why haven't you arrested Steve Owen? On what charge? Going away on honeymoon? Well, there's others. Mark Fowler or Ian Bill. But they both hated him enough to do it. I assure you we're doing everything we can. But where are you going? Look, why won't you take me seriously? I know Phil. Just talk to me. We're well aware you're upset, lad. Just let us do our job, eh?
you see. Nobody takes you seriously. Boy. Job seekers allowance. The final humiliation, eh? Well, it's something to keep you going until you get yourself a new job. Oh, I'm not qualified, apparently. Well, you're over 18. You're qualified to knock that back. Thanks, Tom. Someone in to see you. Hello, oh, gorgeous. I know you won't be able to resist. I've only got ten minutes. I've got another appointment at twenty past. It's amazing what you can fit in in ten minutes. <laughs> Come then. Where are you taking me tonight? I wanted to talk to you about that. Don't be a posh. Push the boat out the weekend, yeah? I'm busy tonight. In fact, I'm going to be busy for the rest of this week. What's the matter, epidemic or something? No, just the way it's going to be for a while. It'll give us both time to think things through. What to think about? She says something to you, isn't she? No, not exactly. Look, now's not the time. Perhaps I'd better go. Yeah, why don't you? Come to his senses, has he? Well, come on. We've got customers want serving out here. You've got no time for crocodile tears. Where do you think I am? Dead inside? Well, uh, you take a couple of minutes then. I'll be all right out here. Well, you're going to have to stop putting people off doing their laundry. Otherwise, you're going to get the sack. Yeah. I was glad you was there, though. Yeah, now look. I don't want any more arguments. You're not going to work, and you're not going back to that place until you're up to it, all right? Right, now then. How about a nice cup of tea? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, stop. I think Lynn's going to throw us out for making a mess. Mum! All right, all right, sit down, Joe. I just want to have a quick chat with your mum. Finish your milkshakes nicely. What are you doing here? I came to see Joe. Did you follow us from school? Yeah, well, I didn't have much choice, did I? Because you wouldn't even give him my note. Yeah, well, Beppe found it, and I'm glad. He had a right to know what you're trying to do. Yeah, and what rights have I got? You know, he has been completely unreasonable, Laura. You must see that. I mean, he's much more unstable than I am. He just wants what's best for his son. Yeah, and I don't. But please, Laura, I just want to spend some time with Joe. I'm going to have a test of my milkshake, Ma. Mm -hmm. mm. That's how Phil started, you know? Get on with your work and leave me alone. We're getting a bit too much, is it? You see, that's the trouble, Jane. Step into a big man's shoes, you gotta make sure they fit. I just told you. Leave me alone, all right? You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell anybody, because no one listens, do they? You ain't the big man you think you are. You're just a frightened little... I'm in charge. Just remember that, yeah? No, you're not. You're on your own now, little boy. And I reckon it's time the grown-ups took over. Do you want another one? Yeah! I'll get these. No. It'll be their tea time soon, and I don't want them to spoil their appetites. Oh. Well, I'll just get one for Joe, then. Sandra, please! You just leave. I'm going to be taking Joe home in a minute. Why are you being like this? Pepe's really poisoning you against me, hasn't he? He didn't have to. You're more than capable of doing that yourself. That's Pepe talking. I don't believe you. What are you doing? Joe, here now. Pepe, I tried to stop. You but... two faced cow. After everything you said. See, unstable, completely unreasonable. Joe, now. Come give me a kiss. Stay you? away from me. Cut it out, Pepe. This is a cafe, not somewhere for you to air your dirty laundry. You're scaring the children. I'll see you very soon, all right? Very soon. I'll get in here. You two had this all planned, didn't you? That's not true. Yeah, no, I should have known better. Women always stick together. But I'll tell you what, Laura, don't you come anywhere near my son ever again, you understand? I trusted you. Pepe, you've got it all wrong. Look at you. 
Where's the tough guy now, eh? Do you know, this reminds me of the way things used to be. Do you remember? I shouted and you jumped. I'm not a kid anymore. Of course you are. Nobody will ever take you seriously. And do you know why? Because you're pathetic. You're trying so hard to be the big man and you're nothing. Nothing. Get away from me! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that. You had enough, or do you want some more? I didn't strike you! When are you gonna learn your lesson? How many times am I gonna have to do this? You're not gonna give me no more hassle, all right? From now on, you do what I tell you to do, all right? Do you understand? Whatever you say. You're going to do better than that, Billy. Say it nicely. Whatever you say. Boss.